This time of year, it seems everyone is sprucing up their homes. Driveways and parking lots are no exception, so beware of companies who use high pressure and claim their deal is only good for one day. Our friend Johnny Keel from the Better Business Bureau in today with some tips to make sure that you're not getting tricked. John, I really never thought about pavers doing this. Well, you know, a lot of people don't, and sometimes they even contact businesses. So you really want to be careful with pavers because uh, they'll offer to do your uh, driveway. Mm -hmm. They'll offer to do, maybe if you live out in the country and you need a road paved, they'll offer to do that as well. Most of them stop by your house when you're outside working on something else and they say, hey, I'm here right now and the price is low enough, uh, let, let's do this. Yeah. And you give them money and a lot of times they never come back to do the job. And that's not what we want. So there are a few things that we need to know before we yes. buy and sign. Absolutely. So the first thing you want to do is call the Better Business Bureau. Right. Because we can tell you about companies, whether or not they're an accredited business, whether they have an A plus rating or an F rating, but call us. It's free and check it out. For sure. And then the next thing you want to do is check with your city, right? If your city requires someone to have a door to door permit, uh, many cities require different types of contractors to register for different things. But a door to door permit is important because that company uh, has been checked out by the city uh, and the city needs to know who's out there knocking on doors. So that, that includes pavers as well. For sure. And then we can ask you for a list of yes. preferred businesses. So if you're shopping in an industry and you know a job needs to get done, don't wait until that guy comes by your house and you think, okay, why not? I don't want to tell him no. Mm -hmm. Seems like a nice guy. The price is right. But if the job and the materials are substandard, you're not going to get the job done and you'll have to do it over again later and it's just going to be a lot of frustration. So make sure that um, you know they have their door-to-door -door permit and make sure that you get a list from us so that you know who to do business with and you can shop from that list. You can find right. out more about businesses. Uh, we've checked them out. They're accredited businesses and it's a safer way to, to do business. And to check that list, you need to make sure you have their name, address, info, all of that. Well, we want you to get their name and address in the city where they're from because we want to be able to check them out. Mm -hmm. So the list is going to be of accredited businesses. That company may or may not be on that list, but uh, we need to know also who that is, who's going door to door, who's in the community from another area. Uh, we have recently had a company from Lubbock, so you might think, well, that's, you know, that's just a neighbor. That's just like being what part of West Texas. Yeah. Uh, but this company is not responding to complaints. They're not responding to their customers. They're not doing a good job out there. So we need to know about them so we can report it and warn others. And of course, never pay everything up front. You don't want to do that. You do not want to pay up front ever, especially 100%. So I always tell people I am a consumer and I know tons of consumers who never pay up front. Uh, reputable companies don't need to ask you for money in order for them to continue to do business and that includes doing business for you. So to get the job done, if they need some money during the project, that's okay, mm -hmm. but never pay everything until the project is completely complete. So it's all done and it's been inspected. Uh, if, if, if it's a job that doesn't need inspection by anybody else but you, well, that's the most important. That's it. Okay, well, make sure y'all check out uh, the BBB website or give mm -hmm. them a call if you have any questions. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for coming in. My you pleasure. always have some great tips Thank for you. us. All right, everyone, coming up next, your use.